So there are a lot of myths associated with health, with world health. Well, as a science educator who fights myths, I've spent some time looking at the data. It's remarkable. We can see how, we can see why kids are dying, and we can see how to prevent it. Well, people perceive that the U.S. spends a lot on foreign aid, that if the U.S. budget were a dollar, a quarter of it is spent on foreign aid. But that's, that's not true. That's not, it's less than a penny. It's 0.8% uh, of the federal budget. You can't even cut a coin small enough to represent how much money is spent on foreign aid. It's, it's not that much. Now, this idea that wars are natural disasters, tsunamis, earthquakes kill most of the people, that's wrong. It pales, it's dwarfed by the number of people killed by preventable diseases. This sector represents the number of kids five years old and younger that die every year from injuries. This represents the number of kids five years old and younger that die every year from non-communicable diseases, cancer, things you inherit. But all of this, most of the circle, is kids dying, five years old or younger, dying of communicable, preventable diseases. This is where we can change the world. People think that we've been sending money to Africa for decades and nothing's improved. Things are as bad as they ever were. Well, that's a myth. When you can show statistically that child mortality's gone down over the last couple decades by a factor of two, it's been cut in half. Those are the data. We have a real opportunity to leave the world better than we found it, to dispel these myths and move on to improve the quality of life of people everywhere. So let's prevent the diseases. Let's address a preventable disaster.